Hello, welcome to GCSE Bite Size Science with Chris Smith and Kat Arney. We're from the Naked Scientists. The Earth's about four and a half billion years old, and now it's covered with plants and animals, including us humans. So, how did we get here, and where did we all come from? Kat, shed some light on this for us. Well, the theory of evolution says that all the different species of plants, animals, bacteria, and so on living on the planet evolved from simple life forms, which first developed millions and millions of years ago. So, we've had quite a long time to go from the primordial soup to get to where we are today. Can you give us an overview of where we've come from? Well, it all starts three and a half thousand million years ago with the first simple bacteria called prokaryotes. Then, around two thousand million years ago, we get the first eukaryotes, and these are what you'd recognise as cells like those in our own bodies with organelles such as a nucleus that contains DNA. Then the next big step happened around a thousand million years ago, and you've got the first many-celled organisms. These are tiny sponges, algae, seaweed, jellyfish, and worms. And when do things really start to get interesting? Well, around 500 million years ago, we start to see the first fish, and then 50 million years later, we get the first land plants and fungi. So those are mushrooms and molds. And by about 390 million years ago, most of the land is covered in ferns, which eventually get fossilized to make the coal that we burn on our fires today. And around this time, we also get to see the first land animals. So that's amphibians, insects, and reptiles. And then what happened? Well, unfortunately for this lot, most of them got wiped out in a massive Extinction 250 million years ago, so that's quite bad luck. So when did we get the dinosaurs then? Well, dinosaurs first started appearing around 220 million years ago, and the first mammals came along shortly after. So that's about 200 million years ago. A bit later, we get the first flowering plants. So that's 130 million years ago. But the first grasses didn't come till much later. That's about 35 million years ago. And when did the dinosaurs disappear? Well, the Earth's second mass extinction, which is what did for the dinosaurs, was around 65 million years ago. But that paved the way for the first modern mammals, who are our ancestors, who first popped up about 45 million years ago. That's still a long time ago. So when did we begin to turn into humans then? Well, the first hominids—that's human-like animals—started to appear much later, around three million years ago. But we don't get Homo sapiens, and that's humans as we know them, until about two hundred thousand years ago. And at the same time, we also have our primitive cousins, the Neanderthals. And between them, these hominids were pretty successful, colonising virtually all the habitable land across the planet by about a hundred thousand years ago. But then what happened? Well, unfortunately for the Neanderthals, they died out about twenty thousand years ago, leaving us Homo sapiens to carry on, eventually becoming people like you and me. And in terms of civilization, we can date it back to around ten to fifteen thousand years ago, which was the start of agriculture. But compared to the age of the Earth, which is four and a half billion years, that's really just a blink of an eye. So that's a brief history of life on Earth, and in part two, we'll find out how this amazing wealth of life evolved from just simple bacteria.